One thing that we always like to say about soccer in the U.S. is, you know, you come out of college, you're 22, 23 years old, and then you're playing against some of these kids in Europe that have been, you know, they have a different system out there and in South America where these kids are playing professional at 17, 18. When you started playing kids from overseas, did you feel that they might have been further along their line along the lines in their professional career because you had to stay in college and go through the system through the US? Yeah. Yeah, I do. I think you know, and you even look at the way the academies are working now in the MLS that they get they're getting guys training with the first teams at sixteen, seventeen years old. But you know, I think it's all about kind of the timing and for me, um I wasn't involved in these academies or didn't have a first team um, to train with when I was younger. So for me, I think the best thing for me was to go to college and to learn and kind of grow as a person as well. Uh, so after college, you obviously got drafted to MLS. Uh, what was that like? What was draft day experience like and where did you wind up spending it? It was, it was really cool. You know, I think it was an interesting experience just because um, on draft day, I had to go to Philadelphia to where the draft was, and I didn't really know where I was going to end up or who, who was going to call my name. And um, it turned out to be Vancouver, and I was I was thrilled to be there. I didn't realize how far Vancouver was at the time being, but um, no, I mean I was thrilled to go out there. What, what what are your thoughts on the current state of the MLS, right? I know a lot of people seem to bash the MLS and, you know, we're still, a, I like to say we're because I like to follow the MLS too. I don't even think they're 30 years old. This is still a relatively new league around the world. So how do you feel about the criticism that some people have towards the MLS? Because you remember, you know, Conte, the coach for the Italian national team famously said that, you know, Jovinko, when he came over to the Toronto Toronto FC, they asked him about his call up to the national team. He said, if if an international player goes to the MLS, consider yourself retired from an international play. So, Tim, how do you feel about people that bash the MLS, and how do you feel about the MLS? I, I don't think, um, obviously, what happened with Jovinko and the, and the Italian national team is, is wrong, um, because I think it's pretty obvious that he deserves to be there and they need him there. But, you know, you know, the MLS is growing and it's still a, it's still a project in motion. And I think you can see that the owners and the league and players, people that are willing to come over and make this thing serious, put money into it, resources and everything, um, that they want to compete and be a good league. And, and not only just a good league, but they want to compete with the other leagues in the world. And I think... That's important. I think that as time goes on, the MLS is going to continue to strive to get better. So I just want to go back to you know Vancouver. So you got drafted to Vancouver, and you won a trophy there, and also scored a goal. I think it was the was it the Canadian Cup. So what was that like yeah, yeah. raising your first trophy as you know as a professional soccer player? It, it was really cool. You know, I think at the time might not have hit me as important as it was. Um, but, yeah, I think it was it was really cool. You know, I think we had a great group of guys that year, and whenever you are able to win a trophy, you should remember those moments because they don't really happen that often in, in your career. So um, it was just awesome to be a part of that team and even get a goal in the final was even better. Did this in my own life. Did this in my own life. Did this in my own life.